Well, not only is it Valentine's week, but we have Mercury on the move, and please tell me that sucker's not going backwards. It is not going backwards, but it is going from the sign of Capricorn, where it's been for an inordinately long time, into the sign of Aquarius. Mm -hmm. And so I, I think that that's good just in general, because Capricorn is very restricted, very rigid, very, very narrowly speaking, and Mercury and Aquarius just kind of lets it all hang out. So I think that's a good thing for Valentine's Day. Well, all so, right. Um, for Aquarians, the sign that we're in, Mercury entering their time unfurls their tongue. They have... They've been biting their tongue. They've been keeping words back. They've been very, very narrowly circumscribed in what it is they could say, and they haven't been able to say what they need to say. And, man, that all changes this week. Okay. With Mercury entering their sign. It restores their ability to say what they think. For Pisces, good time to sit back and shut up and not say much. Just to, <laughs> you know, just sit back. Try not to, try not to put your foot in your mouth um, and, and be very careful with what it is you commit yourself to. Because anything is going to be easier to get into than it is to get out of, and it's going to take way more time than you think. For Aries, it, it is going into, from their, they've been focusing on their career and public standing, and now it's going into reaching a long-term hope, wish, goal, or objective. And the Aries needs to know that they cannot go it alone, that it's going to take the help of a group of people, more than likely their male friends, to get that particular um, thing accomplished. That will bring the Aries what it is the Aries says that they want. For Taurus, it's in their 10th house of career and public standing, and this is something where they are going to want to do something that is the best and highest expression of themselves and their talents and their energies, not what they have been doing, but something that, that, that makes a statement for them. So I can only think, I, I, it's almost like Pat's going to get offered a job and she shouldn't take it <laughs> because she's already got a couple of jobs. Uh, but this she's is, plenty, yes. But this is something that, that would bring her professional success, so she may want to dip her toe into that. Okay, okay. For Gemini's, it's in the ninth house of the law, legal matters, educational matters, important matters at a distance, and Donald Trump is about to find out, our, our illustrious president, who is a Gemini, is about to find out which judges are with him and which judges are against him and to find out the real meaning of the words checks and balances. Gotcha. For Cancers, it's in their eighth house of other people's resources and other people's money, and Cancers need a no-kidding state of the finance check. They really need to know what exactly what's going on. Not a vague kind of thing, but exactly what's going on with the resources that they share with other people, and they want to be able to find a way to maximize those resources, and in order to do that, they need to know exactly what they are. For Leos, it's in the seventh house of open enemies and, and partnerships and, and, and making an impression on the world. And it's almost like Leo's the universe is going to say to you, you said if I was in charge, it would do this, 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 and this. And the universe is going to say, okay, get to it, get it done. So, um, and you're going to find that Leo's have more allies than they thought. And it's a younger ally that really comes to the rescue rather than an older one. So, okay. which is a cool thing for Leo. For Virgo's, Nothing but hard work and medical, of course, medical issues. Um, whenever Mercury is in the sixth house of, of health and service, you want to make sure that all your medical affairs are in order. This is not a time of glamorous success. It's more a time of just doing hard work and getting, tending to things that you need to tend to, mundane things that you just have been putting off and just need to get it done. For Libras, it's a terribly fun time. It's a very, very creative time. Mercury is in their fifth house of children, lovers, anything that has to do with love and creativity is exactly what it is that the Libra is looking for. And they need to be careful because some children of the mind um, can end up taking on a life of their own because Jupiter is in their sign and it's time to expand things. So if they want children, then that's great. If they don't want children, then they need to be proactive about that because mm -hmm. that's the kind of thing. You, know, you want to get your dogs and cats neutered and mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Maybe your own self. Yeah, maybe even your own self. <laughs> Scorpios, the, this is... It's a challenge for Scorpios because they're very reticent to start out with these are guys that always play their cards, you know, very close mm -hmm. to their vest. Um, and with Mercury in the fourth house of home, there is something going on at home and they are not quite ready to talk about it because they're still trying to get a bunch of information about it. So they need to gather all their facts before they go ahead and make a decision about what they're going to do with it because otherwise it'll end up costing them a boatload of money. Uh -oh. I'm thinking it has to do with repairs at home and repairing your foundations. Gotcha. That's pretty much what that is. For Sagittarians, it is in their third house of day-to-day -day living, and the pace of their day-to-day -day living is about to pick up to warp speed. And they, again, have to be careful not to overcommit themselves because they're not going to have enough day in the month to do all the things that they're getting involved in. Okay. 
And for Capricorn's the last sign, it's about the money. It's about making more money. It's about finding a way. Somehow, I think Capricorns get a raise this month, or they get the benefit of, of, of the fruits of their labor pays off for them. This is not like money falling out of the sky. This is more hard work paying off for them and a recognition of the hard work that they've done. So, And I think it's going to coincide with professional success. So, Okay. Tomorrow's news today for the 12 signs of the Zodiac. Didn't sound half bad. We'll no, see it's you. not. I'm we'll see you next that. week. Always a pleasure.